So, you see the, the, the current is flowing in this direction and you will find after you tap the iron filings, you will find that the filings arrange themselves in concentric circles. The center of the circles lies on the wire and as I have drawn here, these this center will lie on this wire and these lines will be in the same plane of the cardboard. It is not that one circle will be up, another circle will be down. As far as the direction is concerned, you place a compass needle here or here or anywhere and you will show, I will te tell you exactly how to find the direction. To find the direction of the magnetic field, we have a thumb rule. A thumb rule means thumb rule. A thumb rule means a, a method, an easy method to obtain a particular result. We do not go into the science of it. But because it is convenient and it is always correct, we follow the thumb rule. So, the thumb rule which has been made is as follows. Imagine that you are holding the wire in your right hand such that, such that the direction of the outgoing thumb, the open thumb is in the direction of the current. Okay. So, I imagine my, as if I am holding the wire such that my thumb is in the direction of the current. In that case, in such a case, the direction in which the fingers curl, go round, is the direction of the magnetic field. Okay. So, I must draw the magnetic field like this. Okay. And here it will be like this. How do I know? I will have to keep a compass here and the compass will show the direction. The north pole will show this direction. Okay. So, this is how we figure out how this is how we figure out. Hold it like this, not like this. Why? Because the direction of the current is this way, my out th thumb stretched is in this way, right. So, this is the, this is the wrong way of holding it. Imagine you are holding like this, thumb out, right hand, right and the direction in which your, th your fingers are curling, that is the direction of the magnetic field. So, this is how we perform the experiment to find out the effect of the magnetic field. As I told you, the less and less iron filings you will find uh, as you go away from the center. You can perform the same experiment by raising the uh, cardboard up and down on the wire and you will have identical um, magnetic field lines such as this. Right? So, there will be different planes and all the centers will lie on this wire. Okay? One important thing is that when you look at a circle, if you notice a circle of a smaller size radius, a big, a bigger radius and still bigger radius, note one thing that the length of a particular segment, suppose you pick up a segment of 2 centimeter, pick up a cent, the segment of 2 centimeter in a big other next circle, then pick up a segment of 2 centimeter in a larger circle. You would notice if you go on increasing the size of the circle, you will notice that for a smaller circle, this is curved, it gets slightly straighter and it becomes rather straight as you go uh, to the bigger circle. So, as the circles get bigger and bigger, some portions of the circles get flatter and flatter or they become straight lines. They can be considered as, small portions can be considered as straight lines. What is the effect of, what is the connection with these experiments? I will tell you in a minute. Okay. So, this, this was your experiment with the iron filings. Always show an arrow for the magnetic lines of force. Okay. And if you wanted to, if you reverse the direction of the current, if you reverse the direction of the current as we have done earlier, Instead of current going this way, if the current is going this way, the magnetic lines of force would be circles again, concentric circles. But instead of showing the direction this way, we will have now the direction, the direction would reverse, okay, if the current was going down. So, you can reverse the current and you will notice that the magnetic compass needle will show the direction in the opposite direction. You also can increase the, the you can move the compass if this, these are the circles and this was your wire. You move away, your compass needle will show <coughs> small, excuse me, smaller and smaller deflection. That shows that the magnetic field decreases as the distance from the source increases. And the source over here was 
the wire which was carrying the current. Okay. So, this rule that I told you, the thumb rule, it is called as a right hand thumb rule because you use the right hand. So, it is right hand thumb rule. Okay. Now, all right. Now, I will ask you a question and see if you can answer this. A current through a horizontal power line, you know you have these power lines near your house, they flow from east to west. This is east and this is west. Okay. So, if I do not tell you, I do not draw this diagram, you have to draw this diagram. The, this is the power line and you have to be very clear about the directions, north, south, east, west. So, the current is flowing from east to west. What is the direction of magnetic field at a point directly below it and directly above this? Below it at A and above it at B. All right. So, let us if this is west east, this is north south. Okay. And this is east west. Now, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to apply the right hand thumb rule. Okay. Imagine your hand like this. My thumb has to outgoing thumb, outstretched thumb is like this. Why? Because that is the direction in which the current is flowing. Now, if this is the wire, this is the wire, I am talking about a point above this and then below this, first below this and then above this. Imagine the current is going to be like this. Alright. So, under here, under here, 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 the lines of force are from north to south note this north to south okay now this circle is coming up and if you look you are talking about a point above this then it is going from south to north so at a it is here it is south to north and here it is north to south so this is how you figure out you can take the help of a pencil or pen something when you are figuring out these questions 